right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Mod Monday. I'm actually going to be trying something a little bit different this week. I'm not going to be doing 1080p 60 frames per second videos. As cool as that looks, some people, including myself, find it a little bit disorienting. So what we're going to do is shoot in four K mode, and then we're gonna downscale it a little bit. It's all, you know, whatever, technical camera geeky shit. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the way the videos look. This week, I'm pretty excited to be just, you know, doing a little fiddly experiment, but it's not about any of that. What we're gonna be talking about today is this little mod right here. So this is from Emperor Vapiest, and this is called the Mizra. It's a dual parallel, unregulated, fully mech box. Eh, in order to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we always do, quick short up closey time. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the Mizra from Emperor Vipius. This is a T6 aluminum black anodized body. It's got brass accents here, brass up here, brass on the bottom, brass over the battery ports. And unfortunately, it also has these three crystal gems right here, which I find detract from the overall look of this device. I don't like them, I don't like looking at them, I think they're tacky. It's got some sort of interesting tribally looking logo here, which again, I'm also not really a huge fan of. Now the 510 in here isn't spring loaded, it's a floating 510, which was a lot like the Castigador box mod. I'm gonna show you that in a second when we put an atomizer on here. It's rounded on one side to fit into your hand like this, or to maybe fit into your hand like this and hit the trigger with your finger. It's 85 millimeters from top to bottom, it's 50 millimeters across, and it's 25 millimeters from here to here. It's a full mechanical box and all the contacts on the inside are silver plated copper. Now my main gripe with this is the switch. I don't like pressing it. I don't like using it. It's very, very stiff and it makes this very weird sort of hollow crunchy sound. It takes honestly a lot of effort to press this button, especially because I'm a finger guy and I like to hold it like this. You have to kind of crook your finger like this and press it flat into the body. I find it just very uncomfortable to use. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of are these thumb screws on the bottom. There's no flathead or Phillips head on here. You kind of just have to get in there with your fingers to unscrew these to get your batteries in. Ugh, and it's just time consuming. You're probably not gonna be able to see this on video, but if you catch the light right, you can see the contacts down there at the bottom of the battery tubes. And since this is a dual parallel box, both our batteries go in positive side up or positive side down if you're looking at it from this way. And then you have to screw these back on and you can kind of fiddle and get them started a little bit. There we go, that one actually went in pretty easy, but you do have to use your freaking fingers or your freaking fingernails to screw these down all the way. Now, before we screw these down all the way, what we're gonna do is attach an atomizer first. Now, like I said, this was a floating 510 pin. It's not spring-loaded, so if you have an atomizer with a protruding 510 pin on there, you're gonna wanna screw that down first so that it flits, sits flush with the body of the device. As you can see, Nice sitting flush on there, and then you screw this down the rest of the way so that that battery makes contact with that atomizer. It's just easier to do it that way. If you were to do it the opposite way, if I were to take this atomizer off and screw this down and then screw your atomizer down, your atomizer is gonna hit the battery which is already resting on this thumb screw right here and it's gonna sit up. It's not gonna sit flush. So if you want it to sit flush, you always plug your atomizer on first and then screw the battery contacts down. That's the Tsunami RDA on there and if I press the button, yes. Fires up, fires up like a beast. What I will say about this mod is it does hit really, really hard. So, now that we got an atomizer on there, we got a battery on there, what we're gonna do is get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. Normal view, normal view. 
So it seems like Emperor Vape Beast has been a little hit and miss throughout their, you know, vape career or whatever. They released the Castigador box, which they knocked it out of the park. I fucking love that box. They released the EVE Atomizer, which I actually did really enjoy as well. And then they released the Leptin RDA, and I was kind of like, bad, don't really like this. And now they've released the Mizra box mod, and I'm kind of like, I don't really like this. Now, this mod hits hard, okay? It just does. Dual parallel, unregulated, fully mech box with silver plated copper contacts. Yeah, it's gonna hit really hard. Now, this is the Tsunami RDA on here. It's a really low build. This is 0 0.08 ohms, which is fine on a dual parallel box, just don't use it on like a single 18650, but on a dual parallel box, it works great and the damn thing just hits so hard. Good lord in heaven, it's hitting hard. It's just hitting hard. Unfortunately, for that performance, I'm not really willing to put up with the rest of the mod. The button is weird. It's hard to press. You have to press it evenly to get it to fire and it's a little bit crunchy it makes like this poppy crunchy sound when you press it additionally aesthetically i could live without these mystical crystals in here for the rest of my life i don't like them i don't like the way they look it looks really cheap really tacky in my opinion and i just don't like them this would have scored a lot more points had these little mystical crystals not been in here i just personally for me bah, i don't like it i'm not feeling it now another thing that annoys me but it's not necessarily a deal breaker is the way you put your batteries in there's just finger screws on the bottom here so you have to get in there and twist 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 and god damn it and twist and then it pops out and then you're good and then you can take your batteries out and put new batteries in remember screw down your 510 screw down your atomizer then put the battery in and then put the bottom cap on now i wish i just wish that these were like flathead screws like still have it so you can remove it with your fingers but add a flathead screw slot in the middle. It wouldn't have been difficult to do at all, but as it stands, you have to screw these down and tighten them down with your fingers. And in the unlikely event of some sort of catastrophic battery failure, it's gonna be quite difficult to get your batteries out in a hurry. Me just doing that one battery, I wasn't exaggerating, that's how long it takes me to get that battery out of there. Now do that twice if your batteries are hot and possibly spewing noxious gas into the air. Yeah, that's a bummer. You need to get your batteries out of your mod quickly and I think using finger screws on the bottom that you have to tighten, them, tighten the little caps down with your fingers probably isn't the most ideal situation. So again, Nah, probably not. Probably wouldn't even think twice about it. It hits nice and hard, but there's so many things that are weird about this mod, from the way the button feels and is crunchy and poppy, to the mystical crystals on the front, to the screws on the bottom. I just, I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't buy it. And that's just me. There's a lot of other fully mech or even non mech, you know, with MOSFETs dual parallel unregulated boxes out there that I much, much prefer to the Mizra. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, not buy the Mizra, at least for me. If it's in your vape budget hands, if you have $190 and all you want is a mod with like mystical crystals on the front, then the Mizra is really your only choice. As for me, I will pass on it every time, unfortunately. But give me that Castigador. Release like the Castigador version two, or just keep the Castigador version one in plentiful supply. That is an amazing box mod, but unfortunately I think uh, Emperor Vapies just missed the mark really hard on the Mizra. But it is what it is. Like I said, I'll have a link down in the description where you can check it out if you're interested. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, boom, let's keep on vaping.
that's enough.